Now that we know the basics of solving a linear programming problem, let's look at an actual example. Let's suppose it's the zombie apocalypse. You're helping load a plane with cases of water and medical kits. Each case of water can help 12 people, and each medical kit can help five people. What is our objective function that models the number of people that can be helped? Well, first I need to establish one variable as x and one as y. I'm going to do water as my x variable and my medical kits as my y. Each case of water can help 12 people, so that's 12 times the number of cases of water I have. Each medical kit can help 5 people, so that's 5 times the number of medical kits I have. And I want to maximize this because I want to be able to help as many people as possible. However, we can't just infinitely load water and medical kits onto my plane. I do have a finite limit. This particular plane can hold 60,000 pounds and 6,000 cubic feet. Each case of water will weigh 15 pounds with a volume of 1 cubic feet. Each medical kit weighs 5 pounds and a volume of 1 cubic foot. So what's our maximum number of people that can be helped? First off, I do have to have a positive number of each of these. So x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. When I'm dealing with these linear programming cases, these are pretty much a given. I do have to worry about the weight. Water weighs 15 pounds. Medical kits weigh 5 pounds. And that has to be less than or equal to my maximum weight, 60,000. I also have to be concerned with volume. Water and medical kits are both one cubic foot, so x plus y, and that has to stay less than 6,000. So now that I have my constraints, let's solve this system. Let's start by graphing the inequalities. The x greater than or equal to zero and y greater than or equal to zero just tells me I'm in this first quadrant. And let's look at the intercepts. My first equation, if I let x be equal to 0, I have 5y equal to 60,000. Or y is equal to 12,000. If I let y be equal to 0, I have 15x equal to 60,000. Dividing both sides by 15 gives me 4,000. So as I graph this, I'm going to let each one of these boxes be 1,000. I should be able to go over zero and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I should be also, also be able to go over four, one, two, three, four, and up zero. And we can connect these dots. Since zero plus zero is in fact less than 60,000, I should be shading on the side of the line that has zero, zero. Next, if x is 0, we can see that y has to be 6,000. And if y is 0, we can see that x has to be 6,000. So I can plot those two points, 6,000, 0, and 0, 6,000, and connect the line between them. And once again, since 0 plus 0 is in fact less than 6,000, I need to shade below this line. So I need to be below the red and below the blue and positive. Finding my vertices, I already know this one is 0, 6,000. And I already know this one is 4,000, 0. And I also have the point 0, 0. I just need to figure out where this is. Where do these two lines intersect? Where is 15x plus 5y equal to 60,000? And x plus y equal to 6,000 the same? Well, I'm going to multiply the second one by minus 5. 
that gives me negative 5x minus 5y equal to negative 30,000. That tells me 10x is equal to 30,000. Or if I divide both sides by 10, x is equal to 3,000. Solving for y, I'm going to use the fact that x plus y has to be equal to 6,000 to get that y must also be 3,000. So this is the point 3,000, 3,000. We can now plug these points into my objective function. If we send zero medical kits and zero bottles of water, we will of course help zero people. The next one, 12 times zero is zero, and five times 6,000 is 30,000. So this one would help 30,000 if we packed only medical kits. 12 times 4,000 is 48,000. And then five times zero is zero. So if we packed only water, we could help 48,000 people. 12 times 3,000 is 36,000, and 5 times 3,000 is 15,000. So together, if I add those, I would get 51,000. So there is my maximum.